Hey everybody, Harrison and I'm back at it once again with a brand new video for you and welcome to episode 3 of our FIFA 13 career mode playthrough with Borussia Dortmund and we're getting straight into it on this episode. We are heading to our third league game of the season, or should it be second? Um, second, yeah, of FC Nuremberg. You having to go there, it's a tricky away game. But as you can see, we get a great start. Kuba, Jacob Blazakowski. Bricks the defensive line and slots into the bottom right hand corner just four minutes in and Dortmund took an early lead. Again, I'll repeat what I've said in previous episodes. This team is really, really fun to use. Um, again, I'm not used to playing the game on world class difficulty. I'm more of a casual FIFA player myself. But uh, we, had, we had a fair share of chances in this one. As you can see this opportunity here. Royce with the cross in and Goats with the volley but uh, defender gets down well to block. Um, later in the first half, Conor travelled the corner and, and uh, it's scrambled. Tupacic heads it back into play and Hummels gets the sliding chance, which is a good save from Shafter in goal. Axel Witzel thought he tried to keep her from distance. Good save um, as well. Um, Witzel, the new side, he's, he's already made his impact. We'll see why in the next game. Chip through ball here in the second half to Goetzer, who just puts it wide. Uh, it was a great volley and it was a lovely ball from Robert Lewandowski. Um, Kubri again down the right side. Passes it into Marco Royce. Trying to just trying to find a way to get some openings. Um, Nuremberg played pretty defensive, and there's Gundogan there with a good effort, which forces a great save from the goalkeeper. Um, Witzel coming through again. Tackled it, but here comes Mario Goetz breaking through the line again. Finds the open Marco Royce, and the keeper can't keep it out. And uh, that was the second goal that put the, put the pretty much iced the game for them there. Marco Royce with his third league goal of the season. He's currently top scorer in the league right now, and he's been so good again. He's been playing out of position as a left midfielder. But as you can see, full time, Dortmund maintain their top of the table status with a 2 0 win. Now, here's the interesting situation. We actually went for a transfer deadline day here in between, but nothing much of note actually happened. The only guy who had a bid put on him was for Schmelzer. Um, and now backup left back from Stoke City. Um, uh, they offered six and a half million. I counted with eight, and to my surprise, Stoke actually asked and got the eight million pound asking price. But unfortunately, the uh, contract talks have broken down, so we still have Schmelzer. And for some reason, he was surprisingly happy about attempted to be sold, and uh, eventually ended up staying with the club. And you have a big one there. Look at that, Wolfsburg. Bought um, Christian Eriksen from uh, Ajax for 18.5 million. He was one of my big transfer targets in January. So for him to be sold to Wolfsburg, that's not good. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was shocked and I was stunned at that one. I was like, oh, I wanted Eriksen. And um, yeah, that was kind of unfortunate. But uh, again, what can you really do? Um, Super Stitch wanted more wages. And here's another situation here where basically, I know you can't see it flash on the screen. But um, Subasic turned down my contract and said, uh, I want to be a free agent at the end of my career. And um, he refused a contract offer and he was thinking about testing the free agency. Um, see, he wants to sign them up and he wants to walk away from the club. And again, irritating situation. Um, I call it the Subasic shocker. I mean, it's one of those annoying animations you get in criminal where players say yeah, they're unsettled or they want to leave or things like that. And, um, just, just tweaking out. Also, just tweaking out the formation here. Just checking, just changing Lewandowski's work rate so he's not all over the pitch with his high, high work rates. That can be kind of annoying every now and again. Um, Finding he's done up two points, but I still don't find him that great. I might try and dish him for somebody else in, in January. I'm still not feeling it with Lewandowski right now. I think, I think Marco Royce is, is the guy to go with up front. We we'll have to wait and see, but um, I don't, I don't want to bench Lewandowski either because he's a, he can only play as a striker, and Royce has got more utility. Anyway, next game, Bayern Leverkusen here um, at home. Lewandowski softening through the defence, and he draws a penalty here for a bad challenge from Heigler, and uh, we let Axel Witzel take the penalty. It's my, it's my policy: best taker takes the penalties, and that lands Axel Witzel. As you can see, smashes it down the left corner, and Axel Witzel's got his first Dortmund goal. Yes, it was some penalty spot, and Brie breaks out the prancing bird. Look at that. The best 50 FIFA credits you will ever spend in your life. Look at that. Great penalty, though. And uh, yeah, yeah, Dortmund take the lead, and Berkowski with the cross, cleared out. Witzel tries again from just outside the area, and it's a good save. 
Now, what you're about to witness is the craziest sequence of FIFA you will ever see. Check this out. Andre Schell here. Find some space. Gets the ball in. Junior Fernandes with a fantastic header. Beats the wind and fella. And the game is tied at one apiece. Now, just for the record, I have not edited any of the next following, I think, eight minutes of FIFA gameplay. You'll see why in a minute. But as you can see, great cross from Andre Schall, the young German prospect. And Junior Fernandez with a fantastic header to tuck that one away. Literally off the impending kickoff. Watch this. Lewandowski with the through ball over for Gundogan. Gets a nice touch. Comes through. Pots it off. And Blazakowski will tuck it away. It's a fantastic finish. Kuba has scored another one. Two in consecutive games. Look at the space he's got right there. He had, a whole, he had the whole goal to aim at and he took that away beautifully. So just like that, Dortmund retake the lead. And again, Dortmund breaking out again off the opening kickoff. Piss check now. He found, he found Kuba. He's once again in some space. Draws the corner. And if you're smart, you've probably worked out what's going to happen here, don't you? Cooper to take the corner and boom goes to Subotic. <laughs> and just like that, it's 3-1. Great header from the corner. That's what I like about Dortmund. Their centre-backs are also really good headers of the ball. And the defence is actually really good as well, especially down the middle. And Subotic there, despite the contract issues, still giving it 110% on the field. But no, I still haven't edited anything here. Get a load of this. We saw Bender, there's Keeble in there, there's Higler there who fouled Lewandowski for the penalty earlier. Higler comes in, he did some great dribbling here and look at the space for Keebling! A tremendous volley um, from Keeble in there and just like that it's 3-2. A shootout so crazy it would make Reading versus Manchester United from earlier in this week jealous. My goodness, look at that for a volley. I mean, we shouldn't be giving him that kind of space, but that is extremely well taken. Moving on to the second half there. Lewandowski with an opportunity here, and guess what? He cans it again. Uh, it's getting a bit irritating seeing him miss all these chances. Junior Fernandez here gets the ball on the right-hand side. Conantrao can't stop him. Defense, defense is bad defense. A horrible clearance from Hummels. And Keebling will get his second as a result of the defensive error. I mean, that, that was poor defending on my part. Hummels did, made a dog's dinner of the clearance. And Keebling took full advantage of another great finish. I mean, both his goals were extremely... Look, he, he sidesteps Piszczek out of the way to make it 3-3. And that was how it would end, unfortunately. A 3-3 draw at home. A game we probably should have gotten all three points in. But by Leverkusen and their joke, they've got some good pieces in that side there. So it's a shame we drew, but uh, again, we can't complain. It was it was a good game of football. Back and forth, pretty darn equal. And as you can see, a lot of fun. I've been Harrison 101. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Sayonara.